Louis L. Thurston, an American psychologist, propounded the group factor theory of intelligence. According to him, intellectual ability is neither an expression of numerous highly specific factors as claimed by Thorndike nor the expression primarily of a general factor which prevails in all mental tasks as Pierman believed. Instead, as revealed by the factor analysis, certain mental operations have in common a primary factor which gives them psychological and functional unity and which distinctly separates them from other mental operations. These mental operations are said to be constitute a group A. Similarly, another group of mental operations have their own unifying primary factor and may be said to constitute a group B and so on. Thus, there are number of groups of mental abilities, each of which has its own primary factor. Thurston proposed seven factors and called them primary mental abilities. And these are verbal factor which concern with comprehension of verbal relations, word and ideas. Special factors which is involved in any task in which the subject manipulates an object imaginatively in space. Numerical factor which concerned with the ability to do numerical calculations rapidly and accurately. Memory factor which involves the ability to memorize quickly. Word fluency factor which is involved whenever the subject is asked to think of isolated words at a rapid rate. Inductive reasoning factor which concerned with the ability to generalize through specific examples. Perceptual factor which concerned with the ability to perceive objects accurately. Later on, Thurston added two more factors like deductive reasoning and problem solving ability factor. Deductive reasoning factor concerned with the ability to make use of generalized result and problem solving ability factor concerned with the ability to solve problems independently. Later, psychologists analyzed Thurston's data and found a weak relationship between these clusters, suggesting some evidence of a G factor. Those who excelled in one of Thurston's ability were also strong with another. For example, those who excelled in word fluency were also strong with verbal comprehension. The weakest link in the group factor theory was that it discarded the concept of common factor. However, it did not take Thurston too long to realize his mistake and reveal a general factor in addition to group factors. Some of the major implications of Thurston's group factor theory are Thurston contributed greatly to the measurement of attitudes. In psychology, the Thurston scale was developed in 1928 was the first formal technique for measuring of attitudes. Thurston's theory of intelligence was a major influence on later theories of multiple intelligence such as those of Guilford, Garner and Sternberg. Thurston has been noted for developing a comparative judgment scaling technique. The rank scale can be used to rank all possible feelings related to an issue and to categorize people expressing an opinion based on the rank of that opinion. It is used today mainly in basic research. Thurston held that if the individual wants to perform any particular activity, one or more of these factors or abilities are involved. Some of them are more important than others. Now try this. Explain Thurston group factor theory of intelligence. Discuss the educational implications of Thurston's group factor theory of intelligence.